Alex, you were chasing the story about a Linden cop who was arraigned today uh, after being involved in a fatal accident going the wrong way drunk on the Staten Island Highway. What do you got? Well, that's according to prosecutors. Six months after the crash that claimed the life of Officer Frank Vigiano and a friend of Officer Pedro Abad when they were driving the wrong way down the Staten Island Expressway and collided with a truck. Now, the night of March 20th, Abad had allegedly been out drinking with his friends and his blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit, 0.24, when he had this crash. And it wasn't his first crash either. His driving record includes eight crashes in 10 years. That's according to records. He was suspended and briefly put on desk duty. He was monitoring the red light cameras that the township operated at the time in Linden, uh, but he did not lose his job. Officer Abad was in court to be arraigned on a 27 count indictment in connection with this crash, he pled not guilty. Now the most serious charges in this indictment, which include manslaughter by auto, could send Abad to jail for 25 years. Two things, one, I understand that this accident happened four months after he had gotten his license back, right? His, he had lost his license for a DUI that happened earlier. Yeah, right? that's so it's not correct. the first time even driving drunk or being accused and of it. And you know there was an interesting scene in the court when the judge actually made him hand over his license. He pulled it out of his pocket, yeah. gave it to his lawyer, the lawyer gave it to the judge, and the judge said, you're not to drive, you're not to ask anyone to drive, and if I hear you've been driving, you're gonna be back in this courtroom. Yeah, uh, now what about the victim's families? I didn't see any of the victim families there. I don't, I don't know if they showed up. I mean, I went to the funeral of Officer Vigiano back in uh, April. I mean, it was a big, uh, big ceremony. A lot of people turned out for it. Uh, full honors for him because he was a cop just like Officer Pedro Abad, but we haven't heard much since then. Thank you. Yeah, one of the Rutgers football players arrested two weeks ago just had his bail halved, and now it's $300,000. Now, you can compare charges, but $25,000 and two people are dead. People talk about there being two sets of laws, those for the insiders, cops, and those for everybody else. You can see how these conversations get started. This guy had how many offenses? Yeah, eight, I mean, eight crashes. That's a good point. And also, I mean, there were, there were questions that were asked of Abad's lawyer today. Why did it take so long? It's six months between the crash and the indictment, and they didn't charge him and then indict him. They just waited to indict him in front of a grand jury. His lawyer said, you've got to talk to the prosecutor's office. You know what? Cops have to obey the law. It's that simple.